Shalom guys, hope that you are doing fabulous. Thanks for joining for a daily reading. If you are returning, welcome back. And those of you who are brand spanking new, listen, my channel is very intense. We don't hold back. It, it Don't take offense. Um, I could come across real religious. I'm not. I do love Jehovah Elohim, maker of heaven and earth. He is my everything and his word is found in the tarot. And so, um, I keep covenant with Jehovah, and I believe in doing things that are right, and he speaks things that are right. And he is my king, he is my Yeshua, my salvation. And so, anyway, my channel looks at all kinds of stuff, criminal activities, spiritual law, everything, okay? So, it, it could be very sharp at times, so, I guess if you get offended, you get offended, uh, uh, that's... That's something that you need to work on on the inside of yourself, I guess. But I'm not here to offend anyone. Um, in this world, we will have offenses. Um, but we must learn how to look into our mirror and fix whatever it is and ask ourselves, why am I getting offended by this? And uh, the scripture tells us that uh, if we don't talk by way of the law and the testimony, which is the covenant that King Solomon told us that it was our duty to keep if we don't talk according to that we really we have no light inside of us and some people are are uh, walking by a false light okay and so i'm not here to give any foo-foo i'm here to uproot wickedness and what i'm called to do elohim told me to do this work and so it ain't gonna be for everyone because sometimes it's real sharp uh when i'm feeling the spirit um work through me okay and I've went through some real hard ship just like a lot of people have and you got to learn how to get up and fight because Jehovah is an Elohim of war to uproot wickedness not start war but to finish it so my channel is a lot like this so if you don't like that kind of stuff um, then thanks for checking me out otherwise welcome you'll grow with us those of you who are returning, welcome back and all that. Happy birthday to you if it is your birthday and happy anniversary and all that kind of stuff. Alright guys, I'm using the heaven and the earth deck. As in the heaven, so as it is in earth. As in the earth, so as it is in heaven. And uh, we're going to take a look and see what's going on today so that we can be aware of it. Of the energy when it's around us. You'll hold the Elohim, maker of heaven and earth. Yeshua HaMashiach, I invite you in the, these gates where you so mightily speak. And I appreciate you. And I'm humbled by you. And I humble myself. Uh, let us uh, know what we need to know. Hear what we need to hear. See what we need to see. Bypass what needs to be bypassed. And give you the glory. Order our steps by your word and your word alone. And make every crooked place straight, Jehovah. You see everything. Everything in this earth. And nothing hidden will stay hidden. It will come to the light. And it will be addressed by your word. And uh, I just thank you for it. Because you keep us walking upright by way of your truth and your truth alone. Let people face their mirror. Let me face mine. And uh, give us the courage to, to uh, be courageous in you and you alone. We seek first the kingdom of Elohim. And your righteousness so that things can be added to us. And we just appreciate you for loading us daily with benefits. What do you want to bring out here, Yehovah? What is the message today? What do you want to speak about, Yehovah? Let us walk in love for that is the highest vibration of them all. We cannot find love until we find your word and speak things that are upright in our own heart. So if you are new, I feel the energy. I may have said that at the top of the video. Uh, but it says, if I'm yielded to Jehovah, and I just let him speak through my spirit how he wants to. Um, so I could be speaking as, uh, I, I, I'm just in the energy, okay, of something that's coming across. There's, somebody is confused. Well, that ain't the way of the most high. I'm going to take a um, rune here. Hopefully you just pick. We have the 
torch coming out here. That go, so if you are dealing with legal matters, this is this is a legal torch that uh, rune that comes out. It's the C, and or it's also the K. Person, place, or thing, first, middle, or last name, or something like that. It goes back to skill and truth and illumination for us. Clarification of something and some type of purifying energy because it's fire. Okay, torches. Uh, some type of purifying it brings up all those impurities when fire is there, right? And um, somebody got some type of a choice here to make. This can go back to some people are trying to figure out how to forgive. Well, if you don't forgive, you're not going to be forgiven, honey. You're just not. It's a forgiveness rune. It's also some type of a solution to some type of a problem. But somebody's standing here as, what do I do? I'm confused. Uh, this is a consequence if I don't or I do. Uh, type of energy. This is dreamy type of energy as well. Because there's been perils and troubles here with this room because it's attached to legal matters for some people or just spiritual legal matters could be here with this room. So this goes back to overcoming that though. I guess if you choose correctly. Um, everything we do people is a consequence as we know. This is justice assured though. If, if we choose by way of the truth. So you could be from Kansas City just because it is the C and or the K or the KC. Um, maybe your name's KC. I'm not sure. Um, there's cake here as well. We've got a message. Okay, so we got the same house coming up. The 12th house is really coming out here really big. And this house has all kinds of dreamy stuff, artistic, you know, uh, things attached to it, confusion is here, consequences, um, psychedelic behaviors, poisons, it could be found here in the negative, it's, it's, it's a real uh, big house to have to sit back here and go, what do I do, and really take our time and listen to the intuition, because it's real intuitive stuff as well, it's also high discernment and looking from every angle with the hangman kind of stuff, but we have a page here, something brand new, which could go to unconditional love, and again, we got a forgiveness rune out here today, but this is a seducing card in the negative, somebody's confused. Somebody's trying to figure out how to how to escape something because this is escapism because this is eight cups and eight cups is I desire to walk away. It's also an a, a abandoned success card when eight cups come up and something's very much emotional here uh, and somebody needs to be purified by some type of a situation that's happened and I mean we got confusion here but this is about clarification. If somebody's clear about somebody else's confusing state and seducing state, then I guess somebody it has some type of a, um, solution to walk away, to go get the ninth cup, which is a wish fulfillment. Somebody does have a wish within something. This also looks like a V as well. Your name also could be Kevin. So, uh, if you are new, I take all kinds of stuff. I don't put the spirit in a box because we could never do that. So, the K and then this looks like a V is Kev. Or there's a, something about a cave here as well. Um, a cove could be here. So, you deal with water and dealing with fishing. The fish is in the cup and, and something about a pond or a lake. A lake Ove is coming through my spirit. There's there's something here about a decision. Show me what the decision and the communication here is, please. There's something surprising here. So there's travel situations, and then we've got the uh, King of Pentacles that jumped out. Okay, well, if you're a single father, then there could be a single father here. This is little children and teenagers if you're dealing with something like that. Um, this is a business person. This is um, a husband. The will represents for the ninth house a husband situation. So somebody is, if this king is, is just wanting to come and return to balance something out, then this is a return. The ninth house can go back to that. Uh, or walk away or to travel forward. There's, some, there's fortune here. There is legal matters here. This also takes back to the law. So whatever the legal matter is and the truth, something is very karmic here by way of what is chosen out of the cup and what is spoken as well. 
because it's a consequence card and this is an inevitable fate whichever way it turns will be in truth regardless uh, and there will be some type of clarification the higher mind is here at the same time we got confusion going on for somebody and so somebody needs to get grounded in a very big way and go to somebody who's older than them to get some type of clarification maybe you need to do that there's something about um, a traveling energy though that is here four people form places are here okay and uh, if we're dealing with just bringing in you know the fish that's here the ninth house and also can also go back to a fish uh, with the temperance card there as well it's a salvation card this is the first letter of Jehovah's name somebody's just, there's a lot of watery stuff here somebody just sitting there pouting this card can represent, you cannot appease me, I don't care, because somebody's in a confusing psychedelic state, something's happened down here, or with three times, or three people, or, or, or are you going to see the cup? I'm not sure. Um, that makes nine cups of wish fulfillment. This is luck here with something. Something needs to be chosen with integrity we do have a boss energy here travel is really huge showing up here really huge somebody needs to use some wisdom okay show me this king of pentacles please show me this king of pentacles Jehovah is showing that there's protection around a situation maybe around your if you're trying to you know deal with legal matters where divorces are possibly concerned um, there's some type of protection or somebody's trying to protect something and they're confused at how to protect something how to move forward but you'll have his hands gonna move something as soon as the the cup is picked something karmics here to turn it if there's inevitable fate this is divine timing of something you can't stand here very much longer because you will just will pick something for you and turn it in the way that it needs to go as well. Some type of truth is here with the will. So yeah, somebody really is in confusion because somebody's guilty of something. They're guilty of something. They're in their mind. That's still nine swords. They're guilty because something's foolish here. Both something that was signed or marked out in, on some type of a um, travel trip where they went. Somebody was seduced within something. Somebody lied and cheated and babbled. And maybe it is your ex or something like that. Somebody really tried to go within, try to figure something out here. There's, there's uh, bitterness here. There's a lot of cups. Well, uh, you know, you, people do know the truth. Uh, I guess some people just think that, well, I, I know the truth, but I'm confused because I don't want to go jail or something like that, okay? <laughs> some people are facing hell. Let's see what's coming out here. So if you are new, I'm picking from a homemade deck. You just pick it, you hold up. You just bring out what you want to. And you keep pounding it out if you have to. Over and over and over to get it in somebody's freaking head. There are higher graces out here if you do the truth. Because there is some type of... Uh, um, forgiveness and a solution to a problem out here but you got to look at the truth to be set free from it there's luck out here if you just look at the truth of whatever this is for any given person you're always bringing out higher graces that's huge talk about mercy being confident of this very thing that he which has begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Yeshua salvation. Um, whatever has begun in you, like that state, you first of all, you got to stand in the truth. He, he, he opens in the business of delivering and blessing. Yeshua, the Hamashiach, came to save. Okay, there's luck here. You got to. I feel like somebody's afraid of something what are you afraid of uh, some people are afraid of the truth because sometimes the truth is as uh, it hurts it's ugly it's uh somebody who, there's there's music out here so somebody who plays a string instrument uh or something to do with that is out here of course it is and you hope it's not going to shut up until something's done about it he always says that you need to stay calm today because something is uh happening that's very huge yes this is very huge that's very huge here. It's inevitable fate that's going to turn. Family is also involved in something. In some of your cases, so if this is family right here, uh, 
that, that states here that family's involved in some of your cases and it's not good. It, it's not. Because we have a lying, cheating, babbling piece of crap that's confused and lost their mind. And they're seducing energies around something. And law is here. And there's a lot of money attached to it. And uh, something inevitable is going to happen. And I guess if somebody makes a wrong choice, then the will can go the other way. And somebody could go to jail if they don't want to look at the truth and get some type of grace. But you hope it's given higher graces. But I guess if, if your family's involved in it and somebody's just, they're, they're a kook, then something's happening here that's huge, Jehovah says. And Jehovah says to stay calm regardless. If you're going to stay in the truth, you're protected. Because there is protection here. Near and local. What are you doing with your, you're dealing with your family, I guess you are. Something is over because Jehovah's turning the wheel. Uh, something's going to be pointed out in a very big way today. Okay. And uh, with the merciful, that will show thyself merciful. And with the upright man, that will show thyself upright. And with the pure, that will show thyself pure. And with the forward, that will show thyself ready to contend. And with the afflicted, and the afflicted people, he shall save. But his eyes are on the haughty to bring it down. Well, something's happened. Somebody got haughty and did something that wasn't nice and uh, caused a confusion and didn't pick right. And now there's a legal situation out here upon whoever this energy is for that you always bringing out and addressing. And um, some, somebody's got to stay confident here and understand that whatever Jehovah has begun in you, he will perform it and bring you to the end of something and save you within it. If you do the right thing, if you're already standing in the truth, you just stand. When you've done all that you know to do, you just stand. Jehovah's going to rescue you. His hand is here. There's protection here. So whoever the freak and the kook that lied and babbled and stole something um, and did something huge within some stupidness and didn't want to be merciful and sit there and knew that there was money attached to some stuff, because we do know that some people have just been sitting there watching some people that have just... Uh, uh, they've went without, they've, 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 they've went many days without even celebration of their own on the birthdays or holidays or their children got taken away for no reason because things were stolen. They were stolen. And uh, Jehovah's bringing higher graces out here for those type of people and he's going to give luck. And he's going to favor those people. And he's going to bring them to a good old age because they honor the truth. Something's out here, I guess, that's really huge. So you just need to stay calm today. At the same time, we still have to point our finger in uh, in the face of injustice and fight for that stuff, people. Okay? So hopefully, if you've got some kook in your family has done some stupidness, they'll go away now to, to jail. And unfortunately, that isn't good. But it is what it is. And uh, there's something's foolish here. Somebody to keep going back to the vomit. Keep going back to the vomit. Keep going back to the vomit. Just like the, the scripture says, a fool will return to a folly and like a dog eats the vomit. Let him eat the vomit. That ain't good. Because somebody's in a state of confusion. They signed off on something. They, they, they did something here. And uh, Jehovah's going to bring some type of a justice assured regardless whatever it is. Even if it's sad that something with your family is, has to be dealt with, there's still luck for you if you stand in the truth. Pick the truth today. Otherwise, there's a great big consequence.